Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your match preview to Manchester United versus Crystal Palace in the Premier League. Ralph Ranyak's first game in the Manchester United dugout. Absolutely buzzing. I cannot wait to see Ralph Ranyak in that dugout. You know, it's going to be absolutely epic. Kickoff time in the UK, 2 p.m. Now, it's not on Sky Sorts, but maybe it's on BC. But yeah, buzzing, absolutely buzzing. This is the lineup I'll go in. In goal, Daniel De Gea, right back, and Wan Bissaka. Not too sure why he didn't play last night against Arsenal. Centre backs, Harry Maguire. Well, I would say Eric Bailey, but more than likely it's going to be Fixer Lindelof because. Bailey hardly plays for some reason. Left back, Luke Shaw, only he's hit, but if not, then Alex Tellez. Then in the midfield, I'll go with Matic in the central defensive field. Then in the midfield, Scott McTominay, Bruno Fernandes, Jaden Sancho, Marcus Rashford, and Cristiano Ronaldo. But Ronaldo did go off with a bit of a hamstring injury last night, it looked like. So, I'm not too sure if he'll be playing or not. But, yeah, that's the team, you know. I'll definitely still play McTominay, but play him with Matic instead of Fred. I really hope now Ralph Ranyak is manager. It is the end of Scott McTominay and Fred, the McFred partnership, which... Oli Gunnar Solskjaer loved doing, and so did Michael Carrick as well in his caretaker role. Mad, absolute mad. But now, hopefully, as I said, it's the end of McFred because them two to the game just do not gel at Manchester United. They just don't. Well, well, if Matic played and McTominay, I believe them two, they gel much more. So, yeah. Give them an opportunity as a partnership. Because now, Ralph Ranyak, ball will be in his court to make the decision. Michael Carrick has left the club after 15 years. Good luck to him, you know. And to be honest, even though I wanted him to go, I was happy he remained unbeaten in his caretaker spell. I mean, two wins and a draw, I think he would have taken that all day long. But it could have been three wins on three. If, you know, who was it going away in the penalty against in Chelsea? Juan Bissaka, that's it. If Juan Bissaka didn't skin away that penalty against Chelsea, I reckon it would have been three wins from three for Michael Carrick. But still, I'm glad he's gone. Because we need a fresh reset now. Now, Ralph Ranyak can, can bring in his own assistant. Because he would want his own assistant. Now, he's done a press conference. I've not listened to it yet. But it sounds like he's speaking very sensibly. That he's a real honest person. So, I'm really looking forward to the game. Like I said, I've not been buzzing for a Manchester United game like this in quite a long time. Because recently in Manchester United it's been all doom and gloom. Like with the Glaciers, the manager, the coaching staff. It's just been, this is an uplift that we need, you know, to have a fresh start. You know, completely wipe the slate clean. And hopefully the team gels well under Ryan Yank. He'll be a contender to get a full-time manager's job because he said when he was offered the interim manager role, he said you cannot turn down Manchester United, which is very true because even though we've been like horseshit the last few years, we are still a massive football club and I think anybody would jump the chance of managing Manchester United because how much a great football club we've been in the past and we can get back to that level again but we just need the right manager the right coach and staff and people who know about football not these greedy bastards who take money out the club 
like the glaciers to help our, our businesses. Joke, absolute joke. But welcome to the dugouts, Ralph Ranyak. Course at Old Trafford, what a perfect way to begin your reign. First game at home as the interim manager. The crowd is going to be absolutely buzzing at Old Trafford. I believe this could be the loudest it's been since Cristiano Ronaldo's second homecoming. I'm expecting the atmosphere to be rocking at Old Trafford this weekend. Score prediction for this one. I'm going with a 3-1 victory to Manchester United. But Palace are a good side, you know. I think Patrick Figueira is doing really well. You know, introducing his own style of play. He's completely changed the way in their playing under Roy Hodgson. Because under Roy Hodgson, they're very defensive. But under Patrick Figueira, they're much more attacking side. And they like to get teams on the counter-attack. So, yeah, fair play to Crystal Palace, you know. Of course, Palace beat us last season at Old Trafford. So, hopefully this time we can put that right. Yep, they beat us on the opening day of the season last year. Ah, oh, joke. But anyway, comment and call down below. I will always reply. And as I said, I'm absolutely buzzing. Come on, United. Let's give Ralph Ranyak the homecoming he deserves. Well, not the homecoming, but the first game in the dugout. Yep, players, please. Play for that badge, yeah? Play for the Manchester United badge. That would be great. Bye-bye.